for something to... There we go. I've been wondering, maybe I should go back to reviewing classic games. It's been a while since I last reviewed something like that. I did it in my Pac-Man... In my Pac-Man side, you probably didn't know video. So it's about time I do it again. But with a game that probably some of you Sega fans know about. Not really me, but one game that has gone fourth installment pretty recently. And when my associate, oh my god. There we go. And when my associate Kirby, I think they're sleeping with their eyes open. I will be. Uh, on. I'll be discussing Streets of Rage. This is the mobile part, though, so you're gonna see some joysticks on screen. Virtual joysticks, not real joysticks. I'm just waiting until the switch's lights turns off for the immersion. There we go. Streets of Rage is such a weird series. Supposedly the series went on a hiatus for over 25 years. And even Sega themselves tried to revive it with no prevail. Yeah, what a sad series this was. Until... You guessed it, Streets of Rage 4. I'll probably talk about the fourth installment in a later video, but for now, I'm talking about the first ever installment in the entire series. So the story is pretty simple. Some city has been taken over by a criminal organization. You got Adam Hunter, Axel Stone, and Blaze Fielding. And now they must fight back against this dumb criminal force. Also, there's a potential alternate ending. Jeez, this sounds like a something from the 90s. The whole game feels like it's from the 90s. There's like edgy references drugs i don't know a bunch of dumb stuff that's just in any normal 90s beat em up it has to be in any normal 90s beat em up thanks to capcom and sega for teaching me that also snk if that also counts who knows i'm obviously going to pick blaze because she has some pretty good thighs then there's the sequel to the series yeah you also get to see these guys two more times and also another time too if you count the 2020 release of streets of rage 4 which i have not played before i can tell from people's perspectives it sounds like a pretty fun time might get it one day who knows i might actually review the whole series if you guys really want to see that but for now i'm just gonna review the first game because it's obviously the most favorited, or maybe that's the sequel, or the third game, or maybe the fourth game. I genuinely have no idea. Also, if you press the A button during game, you get this rocket thing. You can only use it once, to my knowledge. I didn't know that. You go to a city, some alleyway, yeah, with those edgy references, a beach side, nice, and also this one military place that I somehow died at. Hello, and welcome to Lore Talk, where I talk about the lore or dumb characters in the game that I'm talking about. This is the first ever episode and ever time that we've done something like this. So let's make it the best first episode ever, because every first episode has to be best. Let's talk about Axel Stone, the main character, I think. In Fighting Force for the PA... SX N64 originally designed to be SOR4, which was a cancelled sequel to Streets of Rage, but it later turned to a total thing made by IndieStudio.mo, who have made other things besides Sega Street of Rage 4. They've made other things besides that too. The protagonist Hawk shared the same name as actual pr prototype name, which I think was Hawk. Axel shoe correlation, white with a red stripe, bears resemblance to that of fellow Sega character Sonic the Hedgehog. Axel was shown sparing with Adam during the ending of Rage 3. Bare Knuckle 3, suggesting the name of his partners. The Streets of Rage Mobile, which features 
Axel's Streets of Rage 2 sprites, his legs were fixed to make him appear taller than the original. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I'm just getting a phone call. Hold up. Uh, hello? Who is this? Wait a minute, that Kirby plushie was yours? I just found it from an alleyway. I didn't know that was yours. Oh, okay, I'll make sure to bring him back. Also, have you ever tried collabing with me? I was thinking maybe you can help me with the third part of my mini review series that I've been doing for my Armani discussion show. And it's about you, you know, I saw your comment on this all the parts that i've released so far part one and two so yeah i was wondering if i could do that sometime i don't want to bother you or anything by continuously going into the comments and saying you want to collab with me bruv i don't know when you're ever gonna collab with me but hey you know it could happen someday also i don't know how i got your phone number in the first place hey i wanted to ask something um while I'm looking for this Kirby plushie, uh, has Dane been around? In my opinion, I think both taste pretty good. But I don't know about you, maybe you like tacos or maybe you like burgers. Or maybe both. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you that. Oh yeah, right, I gotta look for that Kirby plushie. Sorry, I forgot I had to do that. Alright, I finally found the little bastard! Jeez! So crazy! <sighs> I feel like he's about to attack me. Ah! Uh, 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 he's literally joking me! Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> hey, my Pokemon cards! Oh no, he. 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 hit one. One of the minions. He, that's what he hit. He hit one of the minions. Yeah. All right, I got him again. Oh God. Oh God. What happened? Oh, I think uh, someone hit me or something. I don't know. Hold on, let me turn on the flashlight the camera. It doesn't work. Okay, um, I think I'm at the end of the discussion here. All I gotta say is Streets of Rage is a pretty good game. I really recommend it if you like beat-em-ups and edgy 90s humor. Peace.